what they do, but they do it better. Therefore, they no longer fit in the in the confines of like this current meta. Say for example, like why go Marth when you can go Lucina, right? Why go Falcon when you can just go Terry? Uh, I mean, yeah, I but think, uh, I don't think Falcon and Terry are the same arch. No, yeah, no, no, I don't think so. It's close snapback I think about the moment, but yeah, I mean, yeah and no. I mean, like, yeah, there's other characters that like in general, I suppose they covers uh, certain options better than them, and that's always going to be in a game like. Uh, the game, the characters have options, and for sure they're not bad. Like there's in this game overall, there's very few characters that are outright bad. Most characters have options; they're just beaten by them being better. So, um, and then maybe their more nuanced options aren't as great and as effective. So, I would say yeah, but I, I think that's very commonplace in this uh, particular game because of where the balance is. There's very few that are just straight bad. So. Yeah, I also, I mean, I guess Lucina is better, but I don't think Martha and Lucina play that similarly. In my but, yeah, like Mark, yeah, Mark to make uh, take advantage of what makes him unique and good. Like he has to play differently, but unfortunately, that's just like it's still too con in con inconsistent. Right, so yeah. then he has to spend a lot of times people will opt to play a uh, play against that strategy and play more of a Lucina strategy, but then at that point, they can mentally play the Lucina. So, like I said, it sometimes it's just the nuance, the other options that the character may have are just not good enough, and so they're forced to play in a way that you might as well just play the other characters that cover the options better. Yeah. All right, well, we're already a little bit into it. Here it is, Frostbite versus Shark. This is definitely one of those matchups that I feel like, in hindsight, really Sheik accelerates against Roy in the off stage in the air to air game. Where Roy is, the minute he gets in, man, his buttons are just that good on Sheik. I feel like his damage output is ridiculous. And also, his aerial just being a pretty, pretty ridiculous. Just in general, like, can give Sheik a hard time. Oh, for sure. But, like, yeah, Sheik's. Like, she's great because her dash shield is super good. Um, you know, she has like the, she's like kind of one of the best in the game, right? And her low run is very good as well, too, because traditionally you're gonna see Roy, uh, he's gonna approach in the air. So she has an extremely great neutral. She can hit him out and she can get corner carries on him as well. Uh, the problem usually in this matchup is gonna be the trade uh, situations. And, uh, you know, and testing if the Sheik can get the edge guarding because edge guarding is definitely on on deck. This character, good stuff there. I love that short hop needle, such an insanely good tool. Why did they give her that? Dude, it's ridiculous. It's if you need a hey man, she needs something, dude. I'm just saying, dude. I mean, I like this character, but this character is just... dude. Well, I mean, that, that's just I... the basic of what you can do with that. Like, yeah, <laughs> and it's that effective. Well, it's just like that's such a safe kill confirm, like. That is so safe. <laughs> it's so yeah, good. I, I like it. it. I, I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. It's like a Kuma needle or sorry, Kuma yeah, fireball. Yes, sir. Absolutely, it is. That yeah. angle is always strong in any fighting game, no matter what it is. Look at that. Like that part part the like, you don't let actually really good too, because you still can get the up smash at the percent. Yeah. Block. And if they do block, like what? Good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's only really again, like I said before, it's gonna be the trade and that kind of even for that, like um, confirm that pressure, right? When you like, as long as you know, Roy's gonna get that trade, then should be good. And then Roy, of course, has a great combo game here, and he can kill obscenely early. So dash back on any fairs or trade like that, right there. Roy's gonna win that reliably with that amazing kill power. Yeah, I would love to see uh, Sharp also talk about like what you talked about with the dash and like crouching in general, just to with punish these like jump nares from Roy. Because as you can see, Frostbite wants that jump nair to like nair string fair, easy low percent combo. It's a lot that he can do from that out the left, especially when it comes to a corner carry across the entire stage, right? Frostbite does look for those opportunities. I think it's really up to Sharp to just also try to play it safe from ledge, but also find opportunity when you can actually get a perfect whiff on Roy. I'll move for Marth. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's surprised. So I'm assuming that you're going to probably see Sharp uh, sit back uh, in a bit and try to charge some needles. Probably get a uh, step side. Oh, no. Sharp is still just going in. Oh, that was right. such a scary 
factor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, very, one. very scary. Yeah, this is scary because if Sharp oh. continues to o overextend here, like you, 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 uh, ED, you're done. That was so, crazy. Oh, good catch. Not only is that a low profile for him, so he can add, like you said, right, being in that low profile for Sheik is really good in general in terms of a run, but in terms of her crouch, right, where she's actually able to get under Roy's aerials, then punish him for it, and then immediately get the stock, that was really good stuff on Sharp against Frostbite, especially in a situation where you kind of do want to hold back a little bit, don't overextend, because you are pretty much in death percent against Roy. Yep. Yeah, there was a uh, moment at the end there where, uh, if Frostbite was on point with his tech chase since he got weak there to like set the tech chase if he was ready for force smash, he could have killed with like yeah. rage. No, no, for sure. I thought we were going to see that or uh, we're going to see the double edge dance to cl uh, close it out if he had uh, that tech chase, but wasn't able to get it. Uh, Sharp will move forward. Really good stuff there uh, you know, on that game one. And man, I, I am very happy that we're seeing a lot more people invest in this character. Sheik, Sheik is such a fun character, exciting character. And really got some solid tools now around, you know. She's got some kill options now and a lot of great like, combo extensions too. And edge guarding options, especially with edge guarding being so much better in this game. So in tandem with all those tools, you know, the character can be really a threat. Um, still a very, very technical character, so you got to be on point. But man, the reward when you're Yeah, very boring. Probably the yeah. most out of any character in this game, mm -hmm. I would say. It's either like Pikachu or Sheik in my opinion. Maybe Joker a little too. Yeah. Oh, man, he's finally got like a good Nair, but it wasn't the sweet spot, so he couldn't get a combo. Yeah. I'm not sure how good Roy's uh, Sour Spot combos are outside of the few moves. Uh, up air tower spots are really, really good. Um, jab depends on the character. Um, sometimes it sets up some like tech chases or like low, um, like low juggle situations, you know. Um, but really, the bulk of the stuff where he's gonna get really something is gonna be from the up airs. Like tower spot up airs can lead into a lot of stuff. You can like chain them multiple at later percents. Sometimes you can do jab uh, tower spot up air into like up smash. Um, yeah. So, that's really the main one you're going to see in the front. See, good catch. Dude, that ledge setup is so good with she. The yep. grenade at the ledge, the force you the shield. Yeah. I mean, just, it combined with the ledge jump wheels too, it's like so hard to ledge trap for honestly. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, oh no. tech chase oh, three here, uh, no back. Yeah, man, that was definitely a, a double edge dance needed. That could have been a kill. Another yeah. opportunity there, not gonna get the pair. Drop and... two kill opportunities. Mm -hmm. yeah. All understandable, right? In the heat of the moment, the minute that you see that tech roll back, your thought process is like, oh, she's already at the corner? Fine, this could be dad, but like you said, this would have definitely been a double edge dance kill. Combined with not doing the jab back here as well, like, this is like 40 extra percent charge to be able to kill on without dying. Yeah. And now here we go. Oh, no raindrops. Yeah, targeting off throw here, that's gonna kill. But yeah, that was a very scary situation because we just saw up air come out there from Sharp, and if Sharp was able to land that, that means we could have seen a, uh, some of the F-Tilt up air loops. Could have been very, very strong. Very nice down tilt with the grab, already looking at the corner for a possibility here. Especially the catch up on Fire Spike. You get 60 at anything above 60 at the ledge, and she's already... Okay. Oh, nice. oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> did I get you it? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, wait, I did. <laughs> test them. Yep. All right, we'll take D. Don't ever forget, man. There's another example of Crouch getting him out of a combo starter. Another yep. Crouch. Osma nice. has already turned things out to his favorite here at 126 to 59%. That's fine. No uh, fair bounce of fish I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and now he's uh, sharp in a position where he feels like he has to approach with this kill, but if he messes up, he's going to continue to take massive nice punishment. And yeah. it's pretty dangerous at this percent already. Not uh, really. He's facing the tipper down tilts as well. Oh, I hope they might work. Awesome on the jump too, especially at the ledge. Yep. Oh, oh, good 
Oh, in the middle of not gonna kill, here. not gonna kill. He's still gonna be here. And yeah. there it is. Jab, bear to close up the stock. Good stuff there by Frostbite. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, uh, I see a real SK, he's like, he almost died at 70, like, yeah, that's what happens when you double jump fair from the ledge. Against you twice, that's yeah. A, yeah. You, yeah, you should almost die. Like, that character is very strong, and that's not going to be probably good DI, depending on how you're trying to do it. Especially if you're going for, like, a fair fastball. Yeah. But, um, yeah, unfortunate situation for there, like, Sharp tried to force his way in and that's one of the worst things like for a sheik like you got to pick and choose your timings there and you overrun them by sheer speed but once you're in a disadvantage and you don't have that frame advantage there or frame neutral that's when you really got to play conservative because then if they throw out anything they're at least getting trade which means it went in their favor or they hit you and it's definitely in their favor so you got to be careful Especially when it comes to being at the ledge against a character like Roy or Fawn in that fact. Being very cautious with your ledge options are very, very important. Especially for you trying to come back on the stage. If you pick poorly, you will lose a stock. Yeah. Oh, you thought he was playing Joker for <laughs> Yeah. With Sheik, you actually want to get the full up there. Yep. Yeah, at those, at those percents, for sure. You only pull down for, like, the kill. Yeah, I think her upper is actually better than Joker's. You think it's better than Joker's? Yeah, I think the um, the damage and combos you get are better. And then she has the same thing he does with the drag down. And she has more, better drag down combos. Than her. I see. I, I, I almost I did it, her. I almost I, 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 yeah, What do you I, mean, like, RC I, up there? Then? Yeah, cool. yeah. No, I, I, yeah, I, I disagree, but I think that her combo, her toolkit is better suited for up air stuff. Yeah, because yeah, of I would, I would, I would I But I, I think Joker's is better, like if she had Joker's, then she could do loops at any platform and she could carry you there to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that would be ridiculous. Yeah, if you, I have to agree. I think, I think Joker is just much better than she. She definitely has some nuances where she definitely excels more than Joker. But all, all together, Joker's toolkit is just a little bit better, for sure. Yeah, well, I mean, in terms of the like, you know, no, 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 I, I know, I know, I know, I know what you're saying, sorry, and, that, and that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that the up, I think Sheik's up air is worse, um, but her toolkit fits up air better because of F tilt primarily. Okay. All right, and, and then fair. So you can go landing fair, and then you can go into like get some up airs or landing fair into F tilt. Then you get into up air fast out, right? Whereas Joker doesn't have things that are gonna set that up for him in that way. He only gets um, some stuff when he gets like you know like a dare from Arsene. Then you can do like the thing you up air fast out, right? But usually you have to catch someone or get fair one. Oh, this guy here. This will give Frostbite the opportunity to finish off the double edge dance. Still good though. I mean, if I were a sharp, just being at the ledge already is scary enough. Oh, no, no. oh no. I, I no. definitely know that I was missing quick dash attack. Oh, free. Oh, there's no way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, raindrop? Ah, oh, doesn't get it. I wonder how hard it is to get on the road. Oh, there it is. Money. There it is. <laughs> Dude, that, that kill confirm is so good. I Dude, swear. I don't know. True, but Boyd like does um, double needle to up smash. Um, I think the second Neo, like, or the first Neo Collins is the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no crap. Which is crazy. Yeah, and it's crazy too because you can also just do, like, you don't even need a charge needle. You can yeah. do, like, but then you can't hit confirm it. Whereas the other one, it's easier to hit confirm because it's right. Good pull oh, jab. Yeah, you can get you him off the stage. You the tech on a down shield or whatever. Sure. You can actually die for it. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, they got some fish. Don't get put yeah. in fish where you get bagged at the ledge. Oh, good oh. catch here. This is big. Oh, nice oh. Yeah. Oh. You get the weight, but. That would have been so sick. That would have been so sick. And he does down smash anyways. He does down smash anyways. You know you want to down smash. You'd up here drag down, down smash after all that. That would have been so sick. Yep. Okay, though. Oh, oh wow. Missed grab. Missed grab. Oh, no. Yeah. He didn't, uh, he didn't wait to see if he would 